Okay, so um, just let's come back to these guys. Remember, um, momentum is now conserved in the horizontal and the vertical direction. It means that we're looking at the momentum change of a particle just um, in its, along its x direction, and then we look at the change in momentum along in the vertical direction. So we have to break up its velocity into its x and y components. So let's. So what do we have here? We've got now. We've got four. This is this is important now. Um, it says here, if we know the initial velocity, say in, in a, an example, we are given all these initial velocities. Um, where did I drew it here? Say now we are given all these initial velocities. Okay? Then we have values for V1x initial, V1y initial, and V2x initial, and V2y initial. Okay, so we've got all those um, initial x and y components. But these two equations still contain four unknown quantities, which is all your final velocities. X1, uh, sorry, velo uh, object 1 in the X and Y, final, and object 2. Um, so what it's saying is this. If, even if you've got V1, these initial velocities, okay, you've got this one, that one, that one, and that one. Um, those equations still require you to calculate four unknown final velocities. That one, that one, that one, and that one. Is that making sense? Okay, well, I can't hear you anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I hope it makes sense. So you, you might be given these four initial velocities, but you've still got to calculate four unknowns, the four final velocities. So if you've got four unknowns, what do you need? You need four equations. So we've got two over here. Um, and then a third potential equation is if, you, if we know the coefficient of restitution. But that still only gives us three equations. This one, this one, and your coefficient of restitution. So, um, so the, this is a problem because we've only got three, un, uh, e three equations but with four unknowns. So in order to, to determine the solution to this, we need additional information okay, about the final velocities. So you, you're going to have to, the, the problem is going to have to give you some additional information so that eventually you only have three unknowns and three equations. Or say now you've got two unknowns with these two equations. Okay? But, it, but anyways, um, okay, I think that's enough. What I'm going to do is we're going to do um, this problem in the next uh, video. I'm going to do example 10.7. Okay?